Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Our topic for today is about the importance of vocabulary. Okay. Uh, actually, the vocabulary here is the basic, yeah, in building your skill, yeah, in English. You can write, you can read, you can speak, and you can listen when you have much of vocabulary. So that's why the vocabulary here is the most important thing that you must master, yeah? If you don't have much vocabulary, you also cannot yeah, explore your skill in English. Okay, here I'll explain uh, about the vocabulary. Okay, let's see. Actually, vocabulary... If you ask me, Miss, what does vocabulary mean? Yeah. Actually, your vocabulary here is all of the words that you know. Yeah. Actually, you have known about the words that you want to explore. Maybe uh, the, the difficulty is you uh, cannot uh, translate yeah, in Bahasa. Because we must translate, yeah, uh, from Bahasa Indonesia to English. But actually, your vocabulary here is all of the words that you know. Yeah, you must build your vocabulary by learning new words. Okay. The next one means, why is vocabulary is so important for us? Maybe you can ask like that for me. Yeah. Because by using vocabulary, it yeah, has many impacts for you. It has a lot of impacts more than you realize on how well you communicate. Then, the vocabulary here is also helps you to communicate effectively. Yeah, Also helps you in social environment. So that's why you can't feel better. In explaining what you are trying to say. In this scale also, you can read, you can write effectively. You can speak, you can listen what the uh, speaker said. When you have much vocabulary. That's why the vocabulary is so important for you. Yeah, And then, how do we... Uh, make our vocabulary better means yeah there are so many ways in building your vocabulary the first one you can look up words that you don't know yeah Be by using the dictionary or maybe you can use the new words yeah the new words you learned in your read writing for example or from your reading for example when you read journals, for example, or English books, okay, you can find many new words. Yeah, you can use it. And then you can uh, add your vocabulary. And the third one, yeah, you can play word board games. By using games, yeah. You can, uh, you can add your vocabulary, and then your vocabulary is more better. But the most is you must read more, more, and more, and try to using synonyms for common words. For, for example, the word happy, you can use cheerful. Yeah, that's the synonyms. So, there are so many ways in building your vocabulary become better. And the next one, there are some tips. Okay, you don't need to learn new words. However, you can learn synonyms of the word that you have already known. For example, the word big. The synonyms are big, huge, enormous, gigantic. That's why in your, in your dictionary, have many uh, words have many synonyms you must make the relate yeah between your sentence and your context in that way 
And then, if you are be able to learn synonyms, then your communication becomes more easy, fluently, and more unstable. Okay? And another important thing, yeah, to keep in mind is learn words that will help communicate at your place of stay. For example, if you are a student, the word used, then may be different than you what you normally use. Or, if you are a working person, then learn words that will help you communicate with your colleagues. That's some tips uh, in uh, make your vocabulary become better. Okay, I think uh, that's all. Okay, I think that's all about our topic for today. Thank you. I hope you can uh, will improve, okay, increase your vocabulary. Because the vocabulary here is the basic for your skill. Thank you. See you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.